Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nikki and I am back again with another video for you today. So, my favorite thing in the world to film is a haul and it's been a good few months since I've done one. I think the last one I did was in like the spring and it's now going to be August, which is crazy. So it's the end of the summer. So I have done a ton of shopping this whole summer season because back to school is coming up and I'm going to be a freshman in college this year so I wanted like this whole new cool wardrobe to bring with me to school. So I'm going to share with you guys all of the things that I have bought since um, I think May. So it's been quite a few months, but it's gonna be good. So the first thing I wanna start out with is two pair of shoes that I bought, and these are both gonna be so good for fall, and I'm really, really excited about them. I bought them both from Marshalls, but um, they are both like big brand names, which is really helpful. So these are Carlos by Carlos Santana, and they're just like cute little brown ankle boots. Um, I got these at Marshalls for $30. And we usually sell our products for like a little more than 50% off, so I'm going to assume these are probably like $60 to $70. Um, and these are the Brienne, and they're in the color dark brown. Um, they're super cute. They're going to go so good with jeans and like all kinds of skirts. Ugh, I'm really excited about those. And then the other pair of shoes that I got, I'm adding another pair of heels to my collection. These are from Madden Girl, and they are the Naomi shoe. So they're just like a nice, beautiful brown with peep toe, um, wooden heel, and like a zipper on the inside. But I think these are gorgeous because I only have like beige and black heels. I didn't have like a good true brown. And I was like, well, I mean, obviously I need a pair. So here they are. Okay, so now to start with the clothing portion of the haul, which is the rest of the haul, which is going to be a long time. Um, I'm going to start with American Eagle because I buy like 90% of my denim from them. I love their jeans. Their sizes are definitely very weird. Like I'll buy like a plethora of different sizes from them. So you have to try them on in the store. But they're so soft and they last forever. So I have like a lot of jeans to show you. Starting with this really cute khaki-ish brownish color. Let me fix the button real quick. Um, these are like so cute to wear with so many different neutrals, which I love. They're like a brown mocha kind of color. And then they've got just the rips right on the knees and they are like an inch above the ankle probably. I don't know what that length would be called. I know like in Lululemon terms it's like called the 7 8 pants where they don't quite go to your ankle. They're like a, a couple inches above but they're not crops. It's not like they go right below the knee or anything. But um, they're really really cute and I just think they're nice because they're nicer looking pants but like they're also not pants that you would wear to work. Like you can wear them to work but they're not like like fancy pants. You can still wear them out with just like a white t-shirt and just look kind of nice. And then the next thing I got are these light wash jeans. I just picked these up today. I went shopping this morning. Um, a lot of these have come from a while ago, but these I literally just picked up this morning. So they still have the tag on them. They're very light wash and then they've got a lot of rips, but they're not too bad. And these go straight to the ankle. They're just skinny jeans. I wear a size or a length short, but these are regular, so that's why they got a kind of got like the little cuff at the end. But I actually find that to be really cute. I liked them on them, on me. So that's super light wash. And then for the middleman, I got these a while back, um, probably a few weeks ago. But I've worn these like a hundred times. These are for sure my favorite pair of jeans. They're just like a good solid brown, um, blue color with a ton of rips. And then these are like the, the brownish gray ones I showed you earlier. They are like 7 eighth length. They go an inch or two above my ankle. But they're just, they're so soft and they're almost like sweatpants. Like they don't feel like you're wearing jeans. And then the last pair of denim I got, these I picked up today. Because I know it's back to school but it's still going to be warm for a while. And I go to school in North Carolina so it's, I'm going to be wearing shorts probably till early November. So I got these black high-waisted, um, like just ripped up kind of shorts. Um, no rips in them, but fringe at the bottom. So that is my denim, and then I also picked up a shirt. This was a few weeks ago. Um, it's like an olivey greenish gray color, and it's halter neck, uh, sort of halter, doesn't tie anything, but looks like this, and then it's got really pretty um, like looping on the sides, on both sides, but it's nice because it's not like really exposed. They're just very subtle, and it's a really comfortable suede and it goes to about my hip bones, like my belly button area. So it's a little bit cropped, but still full length. Next up, I picked up one thing from Paxson, and this was from today, so I haven't gotten away this yet, but I'm, it's definitely like one of my favorite things I've bought in a long time. Like I'm crazy about this. Uh, it is like a petal pink, dusty rose colored pencil skirt, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I wanna call it like a stretchy jean material. Uh, it has like a little zipper in the back, but it comes up to like my ribs, you know, like a high-waisted skirt kind of thing would. 
Um, it's from the brand Kendall and Kylie, but from PacSun. I got it in a size 26, and it was $39.95. So a little pricier, but like I am going to wear this with everything, with crop tops, with like a baggy white cropped like um, white T-shirt would be so cute. But most importantly, I have like five black bodysuits. I have so many, and they're all like obviously very different shapes, but I have a lot. Like I'm wearing one right now. This is a black bodysuit, and all of those are going to look so good with this, so I'm really excited about it. So back in May, I got to take a trip to Brandy Melville while I was in Boston. So these are from a little bit ago, but Brandy's really good about keeping their stuff in stock for quite a while. So I thought I would share with you guys what I bought. Um, the first thing is a black bodysuit. Big surprise, I was just telling you about that. Um, it's just like a spaghetti strap one, but it's very low in the back. And it looks like this, and it's got like a little thong butt because you wear it with like leggings. No, probably not leggings, but high-waisted jeans, high-waisted shorts, skirts, something like that. So that one is a very simple basic. And with it, I also bought a more fancy one. This one is long sleeve and it's a v-neck. Same thing, thong in the back. Um, but it's beautiful. It's really, really nice on. And it's not so low that like everything is exposed. It's a, just a really classy piece. And both of these are ribbed. So they're sweatery, they're very comfortable and like really perfect for fall. This one obviously by itself, um, depending on where you live, the tank top one might get a little cold, but it'll look so cute with a bomber jacket or a cardigan. They're just really good pieces to have, I think. And then the next thing I got is definitely more summery, but still good for fall because I'm hoping and praying that it's not going to get too cold for a while now. I bought this white frilly shirt. Um, it's cropped. Uh, it's just like a really like dainty piece. I wore it to Boston Calling um, on like the hottest day that I was there. On Saturday, I wore it like all day, and it kept me fairly cool. Um, I wear it with this like bralette that I have from Urban Outfitters that's maroon and it's halter and it's like really lacy and then the back has like really a bunch of cool straps so this is like a really cute layering piece so that was what I got in Boston um, at their Boston location in May but today I went to PacSun like I just showed you in the last skirt and I picked up this from Brandy Melville so this is definitely around either at your PacSun or hopefully Brandy Melville nearby um, it's just a suede kind of skater kind of um, pencil skirt it's definitely not like super flowy but it's not like hugging tight to your body um, but it buttons all the way down. Those are all true buttons, real pockets, and it's really, really nice suede. And this is nice because it's not one of their one size. Like, I got this in a small, so, um, you can choose the sizes, because they also had a, a corduroy version of this. But it was one size, and I didn't feel like messing with that. But also, I like the suede material more. I just think it's, uh, more flattering. Corduroy kind of, like, puffs out on me, and I was like, eh. The next store I got something from was Wild Fox Couture, and I think, it is it still considered Wild Fox Couture? But, uh, well, Wild Fox. Um, and I got this really big baggy sweater. This is a size small, but it's very long um, and very baggy. The sleeves are even long on me, but they're really cute because they like bunch up at the wrists. Um, it says, relax, life is good in Italy. And it's got like a little guy in a gondola, which is adorable. Um, I was drawn to it because like this is my favorite color and it's very, very soft. I'm not usually a big fan of like sayings on, sa um, on shirts and stuff like that, but I just found this to be really cute and I thought that it'd be really comfortable. And I got it for a good price, so definitely worth it because Wild Fox is an awesome brand. So next up, I did a very special collaboration with the brand For Elise. They contacted me via email and asked me if I wanted to um, choose a couple of their products from their website. And I looked and I was really interested because they have wicked cute stuff. So the first thing that I chose from them is this necklace that I'm wearing here. And it's just like a really dainty little um, adjustable flower choker. And it was really, really cute, obviously. Uh, I've been wearing it a ton. Um like a lot actually I've worn it I got it like a week ago and I've worn it like four or five times and that's almost the whole week so and then next up I got this adorable slip dress it's like a really pretty gray color to be honest between like my family and my friends we've all been like trying to come up with this color because some people say it's green I say it's gray um, but it's really nice because it picks up the color around it so it's just like tank top it's low in the black v-neck and then it's a slip dress so it just kind of flows straight down but it's made of a really, really soft, nice material. And it's double lined, so it doesn't have a slip in it, but um, it's not see-through whatsoever. And then the third piece was this adorable little maroon hat that I got. Um, I like it because it's not super wide, because I have a similar one like this, but the brim comes out to like here. So I kind of look like really shady when I wear it. Um, and it's got like a little black bow in the back, but the three together make an adorable outfit. I even put it on my Instagram. Um, here is one of the pictures from the shoot that I did with it. But the pictures all came out adorable because my outfit together was just like killer. 
So they also have a, obviously a website, but a Instagram and um, a YouTube channel that you can check out. Their Instagram handle is Forelease and their YouTube is youtube.com slash Forelease. But go ahead and check out their website. They're totally like adorable and they have really cute clothes. And then they also gave me an awesome discount code for all of you guys. Uh, if you use the code NikkiM25, you'll get 25% off your purchase. And right now, I know that they are doing um, a promotion where if you spend over $50, you get free shipping. I personally don't know how long that's going to last. So you might want to run over to the website like right now and buy some stuff. Another place that I love to get my denim from is Free People. Um, this is probably going to be the biggest portion of my haul. I think it might have American Eagle Beat. But I'm going to start out, uh, start out with showing you some of the denim that I've gotten from them. And these are all shorts because I bought them at the beginning of the summer. But like I said before, like shorts aren't going away anytime soon, hopefully. So I think I will include them. The first pair that I have are just these little uh, like low-rise blue denim shorts. Um, Free People is notorious for like looking really short until you put them on because these are not short on me at all. But when I show them, they look like they like are bathing suit bottoms. But they're cool. So they're really just simple blue denim and I love them. I wear a size 26. Um, I also have the same pair in a really pretty like mustardy brown color. They're not, I wouldn't call them yellow, they're definitely more of a brown tone, but they have like that orange in them. And these are also adorable, same size, 26. And then the last one that I got are these brown ones. They almost look black, but good, the lighting is catching up on the, um, the fact that it does have brown tone in them. These are more high-waisted than the others. The other are definitely low-rise, they're like below my hips. And these one come up to probably like right below my belly button. And they've got real buttons, those um, don't include a zipper. The one problem with those, they fit in my legs great, but I don't know why um, they don't like come in more on my hips, so they're very big on the hips. And I really can't wear a crop top with these. I pretty much have to wear like a flowy shirt over it just because they're really wide on my hips and they fit well on the legs. Um, but they are a size 26. And then I have three shirts and a dress to show you. So the first thing that I got is this very oversized light blue sweater from Free People. Um, it's a very light cotton. It's not see-through. It just kind of looks like it is. Um, and that would be because the whole entire back is open. So it's like that and then it crosses right across the top so that it doesn't like fall off you because otherwise it's just not going to stay. But it's long sleeve and they only had it in a size medium when I was there but I loved it. Um, I probably would have bought this, bought this in an extra small to be honest. So it's very big on me. But the point is to be an oversized sweater so I think it works. So I just bought this from Free People uh, yesterday um, and I absolutely adore it. I cannot wait to wear this. It is a sheer but not see-through kind of cropped black sweater, uh, no, like long sleeve top. Um, it's like billowy, it comes up high but it, it's not a hug to your body. It goes right to like my belly button. But what I love is that the sleeves are huge bell sleeves and it's beautiful. Um, I had it on yesterday when I was trying it on with like these really cool like red paisley tights um, leggings but they were high-waisted leggings and the two looked amazing together because you can wear these with high-waisted something or other. Like the pink skirt that I showed you earlier from Paxson would look absolutely gorgeous with this. Um, it's just like a really classy thing to pair with some denim or leggings or even a, like a nice skirt to go out to dinner or something. The last shirt that I bought from Free People is this like um, nicer sweater. It's not, no, it's not a sweater. It's like a long sleeve shirt again. But it's pinstripes and it's got this really cute V style in the front with like a tiny little collar. Uh, it's kind of wrinkly now because I wore it the other day. Um, and then it has cap sleeves that you can t uh, like roll up. I have to do that because this is an extra small but it's a little tight on the arms because there's no stretch in it. So if I wear the arms all the way down it's kind of uncomfortable. So I like to roll these up to where my elbows are. The last thing that I picked up from Free People was this gorgeous dress. Um, I wore this to my graduation party in the end of June and I bought it right before that so I only bought this oh no it was the first week of July so I bought this probably like three weeks ago um, it is off this shoulder black skater dress just looks like this and it actually has pockets in both the sides just like little pockets which was an awesome bonus because I did not know that when I was buying this um, it's just size extra small it's it's pretty stretchy and it's got like a really nice elastic in the back so that it like stays on you well because sometimes cap sleeves that like come off the sides tend to fall. So this one is not like that at all. It's very flattering. It's a good length. It's not too short, not too long. So that was perfect. I got to wear it with like black heels, black lace-up heels. And I think it looked pretty nice. 
From Urban Outfitters, I picked up one thing, and it is this long sleeve, ribbed, um, tight, sweatery type thing with a lot of like ribbed, um, not ribbed, but like lacing in the front. And it's like a really pretty mustard color. I bought this in a size medium because when I was reading the reviews, people were saying that it was very tight, and although it stretches, it doesn't stretch that much. So um, I'm glad I did because I usually wear a small, but I think the small would have been uncomfortable, like kind of hard to breathe in if I had bought that. But they have this in like a million colors and it's really cute. Um, depending on like the size of your torso and everything, it might be really, really low. Mine is like the perfect length. It comes to like a normal length of a v-neck. It would be cute with a bralette, but I don't know if I have to wear that. Um, but you'll see in the try-on piece, it's really cool. And it's, since it's so thin, it's good for layering. You could tuck it onto a, uh, into a, like a black skirt or a denim skirt and it would look really cute. And then the last thing that I have to show you guys today are these awesome pair of soft pants from Lulu's. Um, they come up really high-waisted and they're just like really cool like black and white boho -y type material. And then they are bell-bottomy at the bottom. Not super bell-bottomy, but they're definitely not tight. We're just going to do this real quick so you can see. Um, I actually cut mine because, I don't know, they make them for someone who's like 6'4 and I'm 5'2. So I had to cut off like 6 inches from the bottom of them. But if you do it really carefully with like some good fabric scissors, you really can't even tell. So I got these um, at the beginning of June and I believe they're all out of stock right now. But I'm on their mailing list um, for when they come back in so that I can get another pair of like tie-dye ones because I absolutely love these. They're made of an unbelievable material and I get a ton of compliments on them. People say they're really flattering and they're insanely comfortable. Like I'll wear them to a sleepover with my friends and I'll just wear them as my pajama pants after I'm done going out with them because they're like, that's what they feel like to me. So those rock, want them, like all of them. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. Um, I do actually, believe it or not, have more things that I have bought this summer. Um, so if you really want to see a part two, you can let me know and there's definitely some more that I could film. I could for sure do some accessories. I bought a lot of bikinis this summer if you'd want to see them. I know it's kind of a little late because it's August, but if you want to see swimsuits, let me know. Um, and like I said, I got more clothing and I could probably find some accessories to show as well. So just honestly, if you want to see anything, please let me know. Leave me a comment. Also, if you have any questions about sizing, pricing, when, where I bought it, anything at all, please leave me a comment below and I will try to get back to you. And as always, if you like this video, don't be afraid to subscribe and like it. And I will see you all again in my next one. Bye!